So right now I'm prepping for dinner tonight and we're gonna have fresh fava beans sauteed with shiitake mushrooms. I got right here, fresh shiitake mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, a little fava beans. Of course I gotta throw in the old little saying, you know, a little Keontae with, with it. So. <laughs> So it's gonna be a pretty cool meal tonight, and uh, if you guys enjoy my video, I'm gonna um, blanch these fava beans in some boiling water. Right now I'm taking them out of the green shell, and after this you gotta blanch them again to get them out of the, the white shell. So I got these from the farmer's market today too, so um, I'll show you step by step. So it's gonna be a seared, pan seared, I think it's grenadier fish with uh, shiitake and oyster mushroom ragu with fresh fava beans. And then we're gonna do a little um, microgreen salad of radish and pea sprouts to go on top of it. So it should be pretty interesting. I'm also in debate whether to use the purple Peruvian potato. And we got these wonderful purple carrots that I got for me and it should be fun. And we got a good dessert tonight right here. We got we got the expert baker in the kitchen, Matt. He's producing some butterscotch cookies for us. So it's gonna be a good dinner. You guys stay tuned. All right, everyone, welcome back. Just gonna start cleaning up these mushrooms. These are the shiitakes I bought right here. And these are the oyster mushrooms. Not bad for only four bucks. So with the shiitakes, the stem's a little attached. So I just trim them off, I save them trim them off like this right tight to the to the cap once we get them all trimmed then we're going to uh, julienne them a little slice they're they're really they're really a woodsy mushroom I, I, one of my favorite mushrooms to prepare is these shiitakes um, soups sautés ragus um, they're even good pickled too um, so just like a quick pickle, They're really yummy and scrumptious, good for you. So with the, um, the oysters too, the same thing. They got this kind of fibrous stem. So I just I just trim off the the cap part again, and I save all these. These make a good stock. I'll uh, I'll pre-blanch them a little bit, then I'll freeze them. Um, then I'll either or I can even grind them up and um, use them in a sauté or in a pasta dish. Mix it with some butter and garlic. Toss it with some, some pasta for a light little snack. Pretty tasty, so I just trim these all up. Now in Michigan, back in Michigan, um, I harvest my own oyster mushrooms, and they these don't really have the, the Annie's flavor like the ones I harvested, the wild ones in Michigan. So these are these are really good. Um, Four dollars for all these mushrooms at the market today. You cannot beat that. It's locally grown. Supporting, supporting the local farmers. So, well, let me grab my chef's knife. I've got my chef knife already here. I'm gonna start julienning some of these caps up. Got my water just about ready. Kind of brush them off a little bit. I took a, just julienne them. I'm gonna cook all these up tonight, the shiitakes at least, so. Remember, always keep your fingers back, proper knife skills. Put a couple of them together, makes it a little easier. And as soon as this gets done, Julian, these shiitakes, I'll, I'll start on the um, blanching the fava beans, because they got like two, two shells. There's a bean inside of a bean I heard earlier when I was watching um, a couple videos. So I'm gonna put all my, my caps over here off to the all of stems over there to the side. I'm gonna turn down my boiling water here. Salted the water. Um, helps keep the, the brightness of the the, um, the bean instead of having a dark, dark um, green, army green I call it. And there's a rule when you're uh, blanching vegetables. So anything above ground, you start off with boiling water. Anything that grows below the ground Potatoes, beets, parsnips, carrots. You start off in cold water, then you bring it to the boil with the product in it. So with broccoli, cauliflower, um, beans, uh, green beans, you always start with a rolling, rolling boiling water. And um, 
heavily salted. Um, and that just helps retain the color. And that's the proper procedure I was taught. So I'm gonna turn this camera over here now. I'm gonna blanch these. I'm gonna, let's put this in the water here. Put this camera around. We're gonna go there just for a couple minutes. There's my spoon. I've got my ice bath right here that I'm gonna to use to shock them. And get this going. About a mm, minute, two minutes in the water. Should be plenty. Got my ice bath here. So go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do this here in a second. Just about there. I'm gonna check one real fast. Right here. Check one of these beans and see if they start to pop out of there. No shell yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Just let them go for a couple more minutes. Patience, patience. And after this, we'll after this we'll get the fish going. Um, I like to have everything all in its place. You know, the good old mise en place. So I'll go ahead and. I can get this down here like this. Check one in here real fast, pop it in the cold water. Oh yeah, I think that's ready to come out now. Yep, I think that's perfect. Perfect to one do. So. Trying to figure out how I can spin this around. Get it back like this. Yep, good go right here. We'll get that put in the cold water. Bear with me. It's my first video I've ever made. Put these in the water to shock them. We're gonna let them cool off in the water. I'm gonna take one right here. I see. It should pop right out of the shell. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Perfect little bean. Nice green. Beautiful. I'll grab another one. Oh, you just feel that shell come right off there. Free up from the little bean pod. So we're gonna get these shelled. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna start um, the next project. We're gonna get the fish out. We're gonna season it. We're gonna pan sear it. Saute up the, the shiitake mushrooms with the fava beans. Um, I'm thinking a little sesame oil, no olive oil, maybe a little balsamic. Um, then we got the purple carrots. We'll get some of them put in there and uh, maybe do a shaved purple carrots with it. That'll look kind of nice. And then we'll get the fish. The fish is right over here. Oops. Fish is right in here. There's the fish. Right there, wild caught USA. Grin of deer. So we're gonna get that going and then we're gonna have a great dinner. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Here's my little the microgreens I got from the farmer's market. So we got radish. And we also got some pea tendrils. These radishes are really, really spicy. I like them 10 times more flavorful than actually a real radish. So those are pretty cool. Those we're just gonna toss with just a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. So just simple, put that on top of the fish, with our ragu and our shaved carrots, and uh, it's gonna be really tasty. All right guys, stay tuned. All right, now we're gonna start with the fish here. We're gonna get the fish seasoned. A little salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper on the fish. Get that going. Get the fish lightly fried and get that up in the 
heat lamp. My, my house here has a pretty cool little heating lamp up there. So that, that's pretty handy. Can't beat that. So we're gonna get this pan going. We're gonna do two things at once. I'm gonna turn it on about medium low heat, get, get the pan hot. Same thing with the ragu. We're gonna get it medium low heat. We're gonna make a little shaved carrot, ranch pea soup salad, saute of mushrooms, garlic, fava beans. Then we got a little citrus butter right here, a little grapefruit. Um, when I made my shrub, I saved the, the pulp and everything and I mixed it with butter and honey. We're gonna put that on top of the fish. That's gonna be a nice touch. So, you know, gotta have everything in place. So we'll go ahead and get these pans warm up. We'll get these microgreens put into the bowl here. So we have radish sprouts, our nice pea tendrils here. More pea, more little radishes. Good peppery bite to them. That's why I get to cook fajitas. So that's pretty nice. I'm gonna get the fish nice and seasoned right there. I got this right here to put over in. Uh, it's a little oregano and thyme I picked from the Kellogg farm. So that's gonna be really nice. We're gonna squeeze a little, little lime juice on top of the salad. A little lime. A little lemon from Danielle. Today it's very much appreciated. Squeeze a little, add a lemon on there. And put a little, a um, little bit of olive oil. There's a little olive oil on there. A little salt and pepper, my salt and pepper dough. Just a little pinch of salt and pepper. Or a little, little thing there, a little salad. Pull these little green salad right there, get that masquerading. Want too much, also my little drink there. Sugar cane, rosemary, grapefruit shrub. Get the pan nice and hot. We're gonna use a little, a little butter and a little olive oil. Fry the fish in. Good pan sear, big secret. A good sear on that fish. Go ahead and just heat up just a little bit more. Get that heat up there about medium now. You can always turn it down. But you wanna make sure you have a good, good, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of it. I gotta make sure this fish is nice and dry, which I have. Hope we got that going. The fish is going to be going here in a second. Nice, nice fish there. Oh my God. Get that going. Got a red blue pan going. Go ahead and add a little. Get some butter going for our red goo. Nice good sear in there. I'll start off with. These carrots, these carrot hearts. Mm. Get that going, we'll turn that heat down. Get that going in there, those carrots are going really good. We'll add some of these. There's no flowers, so I might have to try that flower you brought. Mushroom going in there. I don't care. What do you guys think? We're, we ran out of white flour, all-purpose flour. We're gonna this whole wheat in our banana bread. I don't think it should be no issue, guys. Let me know. Okay. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a little butter in the pan for the fish. And we're gonna fry the fish in with a little bit of homemade rosemary oil I got right here. Little little rosemary oil. And there with it helps that butter from burning, even though it's dissing in my maple syrup thing. The ragu going. Fish ready almost. Ooh, nice hot pan. Hear that sizzle. The fish in there. Oh, that smells so good. Fish is going to be wonderful. The secret is don't touch it. Be patient. Patience is a virtue. Don't want to cross contaminate the salt and pepper. One more salt and pepper on top of the fish. Let that fry. Nice, even heat. And after this, I get to cook my roommate some steaks tonight for him. Pretty honored about doing that. Get that fish going. Get that going. We're going to 
add those carrots into the salad over here. We have a little compost salad. That looks nice. Looks nice right there. Yeah. Huh? You cook them on the grill here in a second. Just give me one second to get this done. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got that going. Get that going, then we're gonna add the fish is going. Garlic in there with that ragu. Get that going. There we go. Awesome. Come back again. Exactly. Lemon juice. Up a little bit. Some lime juice. Add a little bit of seasoning in there. Time to break it all up in the place where you know where I do. This is just about ready to be flipped. Sweet butter as soon as it gets done. This is looking really good. I'll add just some kale because there's butter in there right now. Salt and pepper. Here it is. All my salt and pepper on the hash. I'm gonna 
Let me get the knife. Get a lamp for now. Get a professional kitchen. Doing really good. A little more of that citrus butter into the pan. Get this is out there. Get that butter all nice and melted with honey and grapefruit rind and simple syrup. Butter poached fish. Beautiful. Right, put that up there. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and plate this. All right. Well, here's the finished product: sautéed fish, the grapefruit compound butter, uh, the ragu of oyster shiitake mushrooms and fava beans, and a little shaved carrot, watered, oh, uh, shaved carrot, pea sprouts, and radish sprouts. Toss with a little fresh lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper. Ragu is seasoned with oregano and thyme I harvested from the Kellogg farm. Really beautiful. Then I get to cook these steaks up for my roommates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good. All right, everybody. Time to dig in. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate it.